Hey guys, this is JDXO and this is a little project electronics thing that I've done just recently because I got sick of changing AA batteries on the temperature sensor in my car. It's not built into the car, it's just something that I have in the car just to tell me what temperature it is on the day. Um, yeah, this is a variable voltage regulator. So basically I'll explain what it does. You've got your input over here and your output over here. Now you can input here any voltage from the voltage you want out to 32 volts, I think it is, and it will always be that voltage out. Now I've got a 9 volt battery in here, as well as these which plug into a, a, a cigarette socket thing in my car, so 12 volts or 8 volts, um, 9 volts sorry, and it will always put out 3 volts, which is the equivalent of two 1.5 volt AA batteries. Um, the it's got a light down there that tells me it's receiving power and one that tells me it's putting out power because I had trouble with um, I used the too small a wattage potentiometer the first time around and it burned out and it, then that caused that light to burn out because of course there was an unlimited amount of resistance between that so it caused 12 volts to be put out across this LED which burnt that out so I basically had those two components there burn out <laughs> which wasn't that great um, that um, LED down there has got a resistor on it that, resist that um, lowers the current to it so it doesn't burn out. And this is an LM317T voltage, variable voltage regulator, I think it's called. And these are two capacitors. They're only small capacitors because they don't need to be filtered much. The DC doesn't have to be filtered. So this is a, a 1 microfarad capacitor, the big one, and the other one's a 0.1 microfarad, I think. So yeah, they're very small because DC from your car is usually regulated anyway and from a battery it's always going to be that same voltage unless it's a dead battery obviously um, it's got a resistor down there that runs from pins uh, from the adjust to the voltage out, uh, sorry yeah adjust to the voltage out pin and then it's also got this potentiometer here that runs from the adjust pin to ground so this potentiometer now what happens when you, is when you increase the resistance the voltage out increases. When you decrease the resistance, the voltage out decreases. So you can get it down to 1.5 volts if you want. I believe the lowest it can go is 1.2 volts. This is a one, I think it's a one kilo ohm potentiometer set at 330 ohms. And the other resistor down there is a 220 ohm resistor, one watt resistor. It has to be nice and big. And this has also got a heat sink on it because it gets quite warm, especially on using like a high voltage. So if you got 30 volts, it'll use it'll create, generate a lot of heat. But if you got 30 volts, I wouldn't use that potentiometer because that probably won't last. It'll probably put out too much current. So yeah, the soldering job is not the best in the world. I'm not the best solder in the world. But anyway, it works. It works fine for what I want it to do. <clears throat> the circuit diagram I've used, I found off the internet, is this one here. So you got your battery over or your voltage in over here. Your capacitor one, that's the one, the point one microfarad capacitor. Your LM three one seven T, and you got your voltage in, your adjust, and your voltage out. So the adjust, this is the variable resistor down here, the one kilo ohm variable resistor, and this is the two hundred and twenty ohm standard resistor. So as you can see, the voltage out to um, the adjust pin. You also got the second capacitor, which is supposed to be an electrolytic capacitor, but I don't use an electrolytic capacitor for it because it's, you know how hard it is to find a one, a one microfarad electrolytic capacitor? Fucking hard. And then voltage out. Altogether, these parts cost me about $5 from JCAR. The switch I already had, and that's just to switch it between um, that input or the 9 volt battery built in. So, yeah, I'll show you on, it on the battery first. I don't think I have my battery charger set up to show you it on power, so. so there we are, and it is working. Now the green light's lit up to say it's receiving power, and the red light's lit up to say it's putting out power. So it works, and if you leave it on for long enough they'll get a bit warm, but it won't get too warm right just running off 9 volts. So if you get a multimeter, I've got it in the car, so I can't show you, this will be 3.03 volts coming out of these two ports. Whereas it's 8 volts going in. If I switch it the other way, it will go to the other input. So I don't have anything connected up to the other input, so I can't show you that. So, anyway, yeah, that was my little electronics project. So, thanks for watching, guys.